Hi there everyone and welcome to this video. Uh, in today's video we'll be covering a few more approval scenarios. Um, so we'll be focusing on um, the approver type scenario today of specific approver. Um, and then we'll also cover off um, using workflow user groups um, to do approvals as well. Um, so once again, like in some of the previous approval videos, we won't go through sort of the whole approval process end to end, um, as in I'll send a document for approval and show you who the um, selected approvers are for that document based on the configuration that we've done. Um, but I won't go through actually approving those documents because we have done that in another video. So uh, again, like I did with my other approval videos, I'll paste the link to the uh, approval video that shows everything end to end um, in the description of this one. So what I'm going to do first here is I'm just going to go to my workflows and I'm going to come into my purchase order approval workflow that we've been working with and I've just changed the um, then response and I've changed this particular area of the then response okay so here what I've done is I've changed um, the approver limit type to specific approver and what I've done is selected an approver ID of Ali B okay so all this means is that whenever I'm requesting approval um, and the approval will go through this particular workflow, it's going to choose every time this user that I've nominated here as my approver. OK, so what I'll do is let me go ahead and I will raise a PO. And on my PO, I'm going to go ahead and assign a vendor. I'm going to input a line and I will go ahead and send that for approval. OK, so now if I come into order and approvals here, I can see that the approval request has been sent to Ali B. OK, so just to prove the point there, guys, what I'm going to do is come back to my workflow and I'm going to edit that workflow and just change that user just to show you that it's picking the user from our selection here. So this time I'll change the user to Alicia. I'll press OK and enable my workflow. So now let's raise another new PO. I'll select a vendor, I'll input my line, and I'll send for approval. OK, and this time we see that the approver ID is Alicia. OK, so that type of a workflow setup, if I just come back into this so you can see, this type of a workflow setup is used when I guess you have just a single approver for that particular workflow. OK, so um, I guess this is going to work out different every time, different based on how your um, approval setup works. Um, but that's the specific approver limit type in action. OK, um, and we have got other videos with um, the, the other options there, so I'm not going to run through these. But at the top of the video there, I also mentioned that we're going to cover off um, workflow user groups. OK, so in the approver type here, what we'll do now is just select workflow user group. And sorry, let me just go ahead and uh, disable the uh, workflow so we can change it. Um, and I'm going to change my approver type to workflow user group. And then you'll see I have uh, I have to make a selection for my workflow user group code. OK, so I don't have any of these set up right now, so I'm just going to set up a workflow user group. I'm just going to call it test. And here I'm going to go in and say edit. And what can I do on my workflow user group? Well, I can go ahead and add users in here. OK, so I'm just going to add in here Alicia and Ali B. 
And you'll notice we have the sequence number here as well, right? So you can use the sequence number to say it should go to Alicia first, then it should go to Ali B, and you can change the sequence number to be the same if you want approvals to go out to both users or multiple workflow user group members at the same point in time. Um, just bear in mind you would need to mess with the workflow um, if you did that in a few other areas as well, but I guess have a play and let me know if you have any issues. Okay, so just to recap before I go ahead and raise APO, what we did there was on the then response in the third step, we changed the approver type to workflow user group and we set up a new workflow user group code called test. And if I go into show details here, you can see that I've got Alicia and Ali added with sequence one and sequence two against them, okay? So what I'll go ahead and do now is raise another PO and we'll just see what happens with the approval entries on those. So I'll just put in my line and let me go ahead and say send approval request. And you'll see it says an approval request has been sent. So if I now go order and approvals, and what you can see here is that we have one open and one created approval entry, okay? So as we saw on the sequence numbers, it's going to Alicia first, and once Alicia approves, it's gonna go ahead and open the entry to Ali B. Okay, so that's how workflow user groups uh, work. You can add multiple users and you can sequence those users in order if you want to. And uh, I guess um, that's uh, the different ways in which uh, we can um, set up the, the approvals for um, POs. Um, there is one other way on the workflow, which I guess I won't do a separate video for, but I'll just show you very quickly now. In the then response, you can also set the approver type as salesperson purchaser, okay? Um, so just have a play with that one and I guess let me know if you have any questions. Um, but there are other approval workflows that you can play with. So if I go new workflow from template here, um, you've got a number of these, you know, we've covered off purchase orders in our videos, um, but you can do things uh, like general journal approvals as well. Um, and you can do approvals on vendors, customers, uh, and some other areas there as well, okay? So um, I guess have a play, uh, and uh, if you have any questions, do reach out, uh, be more than happy to help. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.